So in this video we're going to discuss why school shootings appear so much in the USA compared to other countries. In this example we're going to compare it to Denmark. We're mainly going to focus on the gun laws and the bullying. So let's take a look at bullying in the USA compared to Denmark. About 41% of all American students claim that they've been bullied at least one year during their school time. And about 15% of all bullied students have felt psychological and or physical problems afterwards. 11% of all Danish students are being bullied, which is still a big problem, but at least the teachers try to do something about it. So you might ask yourself, why is this? Well, America is a very liberal country, which means you have to do things yourself. And Denmark is a very socialistic country, which is heavily based on helping each other. Denmark's tax is so high that some Americans describe it as handing away money. Us Danes simply see it as helping the ones in need. I'm of course not saying that Americans don't help each other out, but you probably get the idea. So you might ask yourself, what does this have to do with the bullying? Well, first of all, the Danish schools focus very heavily on the individual student instead of numbers and statistics like, um, like America. This makes it easier to spot what is wrong and the high techs make sure that even poor students get attention. Enough about that, let's take a look at the gun laws. Here's a picture that shows the required age to carry guns in most American states. As you can see the numbers are very different, however what they all have in common is that you don't need any sort of license in order to buy them. In most states you can even buy them online. Like you see here for example. However in Denmark it's not quite that easy. While you're allowed to buy a gun at the age of 16, you need a hunting license in order to buy one. And you're only allowed to buy a shotgun. However at the age of 18 you're allowed to take a, take a rifle license and buy a rifle. Handguns are completely banned in Denmark, only police officers are allowed to carry them. And guns are only used for hunting purposes. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with school shootings? Well, the crazy thought of starting a school shooting can easily become a reality with such easy access to firearms. While it's still not impossible to get firearms in Denmark, the firearms you get are not nearly as strong as the American machine guns. And in Denmark, you have to have a license, which makes sure that you're a responsible user. So thanks for watching, guys. Please note that this video was not meant to tell America that we're better than them. It's simply made to demonstrate the differences between our political opinions. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye-bye.